The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides. Mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans. Yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family Barbecue bbq.com for more info you hear the words you say sometimes i mean who talks like that half-ass holiday work they just found out that trip reed will not be uh coming in today just for the squares and then leaving <laughs> i thought drinks. i saw the salespeople with their track shoes on yeah, oh, running to their cars i walk by his office and the lights are out and the doors closed and i'm like nope we uh, guarantee you by 10.04. Tumbleweed. They've all checked in. And even better, uh, Susan, who's second in charge, isn't here either. So these salespeople are pissed that they showed up in the first place. Only like two of them did. Who's the first one that's bouncing? Uh, well, hardly any of them showed up. Oh, they okay. got to get by the Kaiser first. Yeah, winter, yeah that's Oh, the that's one. right. So Kaiser, Kaiser's keeping tabs on who showed up. <laughs> it's trouble down there. But yeah, three or four of them didn't show up. They're all pretending they're working from home. Lies. And that's what you should be doing today, too. Look at your boss right now in his polo and his, in his cabana clothes. He's on his way out. He just wanted to make sure you slaves drug your asses into work while he goes off. He's not doing anything today. So finish up cleaning the yacht. I'm out right. of here. <laughs> or his mini Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I know uh, it's not your boss we're talking about? If the word mini Winnie's involved for vacation. That's how I know you also have a terrible company. Our CEO took the mini Winnie and his family up to Montana. Oh, we're going under, aren't we? <laughs> we're going under. <laughs> it's true. No CEO ever goes, I rented a mini Winnie. Let's get in and drive. You don't have to protect me, Brady. He's absolutely right. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Toledo knows. Toledo's aware of right. That's self awareness. He's good. You can protect him all you want. It makes it funny. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. The Come guy, on. It's guy a nice be... family trip. Come on. There's plenty of CEOs. The that... guy could be a CEO well, of a kiosk at the there mall. There are no CEOs of the mini Winnie. Not one. Not even mini Winnie's CEO has taken that out for a spin. <laughs> Got the special one. Anyway, it's time for the Guadalupe Squares, uh, and there uh, we'll give you tickets to go see Mark or uh, I don't know if we got Bellamy on hand, but you can probably throw those in there. We'll find I don't think one. Bellamy, but we can do Mark. Norman, all right, we'll do probably. Mark with those, and then we got the food from Porta Subs and Hooters and all that yeah. other stuff. We got tons of stuff for you, uh, but you got to win first. So let's find out who's in the squares. With and our Rich host. has got one more space in the winning. Oh, that's right. Yeah, well, you can hop in. Full full up. You can be part of the big American U-turn. That's a great idea. And here's your host of these. Is it a great idea? No. (laughs) Mr. Jeremy Bergeron. Jeremy! All right. Thank you, Johnny. We'll start in the top left corner. It's the real boss. That's right. Tony Sobrano. We were going to have uh, Biden in today. That would have been a bad idea. Let's be honest, Brett. You know what? I've been listening to you guys this morning, Brett. And I'm the boss of your family. You know that. Of course. Come on. Kirsty. I'm listening to you this morning. You changed. There's something different about you. I'm not sure I like it. What's that, T? You're talking about uh, being some sort of flambe fajou with this Miss Nevada. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, like it, Tony. I didn't like it. He said he would take a load for Miss Nevada. This guy. I, I never mean, said that. Oh, hey, oh. Whoa, 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 I never whoa, said whoa, that. Whoa. Not me. I'm eating over here. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know. I got my eyes on you. The princes and saints in New Jersey are coming out. <laughs> All right, the top middle square, uh, his birthday's coming up. It's William Shatner. Hi. Or it's not his birthday. birthday, he's in Russia. In no, no, he's on Russian TV. It's my yes. Russian birthday is coming up here. I probably will celebrate with some vodka. And some and cosmonauts? Russian friends. And my new socialist love land called Russia. They pay an exorbitant amount of money. I don't understand why everybody's so angry when I try to make some money on the side with our communist enemies. I ask you, Brady, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. Dos Vidonia. Down to America, I say. Death to it all. You've got to remember I'm Canadian. I don't even care about your country. (laughs) (laughs) 
All right, in the top right square, they're celebrating that the Suns are going to the finals. It's well, Charles and Shaq. Two former Suns celebrating Suns championship show Papa John's Pizza on special this weekend. Shut up! That's always <laughs> selling something. Always got something for sale. Suns are the best team left in the NBA finals. There's nobody coming out the East that's going to beat them. That's for sure. What would you do if Shaq pushed you in the back? Shaq pushed me in the back one time. We had a fight. Shaq fights like a woman. Watch it. I'll kick your ass right in front of everybody. Right Keep now? talking. <laughs> he thinks he can beat me up, but the man goes down like a tree with no roots. There's nothing to it. You just kick him in the knee. Got no base? I tell you what, good thing you got good insurance from the general. Because I'm going to kick your ass. You keep talking about all that, sell you all your stuff, because you know what you're going to need? Bunch of that icy hot after I get done kicking your ugly ass, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm going to say it right now. I don't care if it's the Hawks or the Bucks. I don't care who plays the Suns, my Phoenix Suns. I don't care who it is. You could combine the two teams. The Suns are going to win the championship in five. Put it down. That's my Chuck guarantee. That's happening right now. Chuck's- Chuck says. <laughs> Chuck says. <laughs> Success! Success! Just because you're doing it louder doesn't mean it means more. You wouldn't even make a prediction. You mean a jackass. Sons of five. I don't care if they play the Buckhawks or the Hawk Bucks. The what? Or the mother. I don't care who they do. It's all going to go down in five. So get your tickets for the first two games, Phoenix, because it ain't coming back here. It ain't going to happen. This is not a thing. I say the Buckhawks in five. And I will bet all the Mylanta in the world. <laughs> Try your Mylanta now. Do I do my Lanta commercial? No. <laughs> do now. Do now. in Atlanta. Oh, Milanta. I thought he just wrote my Lanta down. I thought I'd signed a new deal. The man's got too many endorsements. He doesn't even know what he does. And Milanta ain't a thing, Brady. You can't just write down the word Milanta <laughs> without some type of Sorry, explanation. Charles. You got to learn your diction and language, Brady. <laughs> That's how that's word impossible. works. And that's called irony. That's, ca- that's right. If I'm your diction teacher, you is in trouble. <laughs> Sons at five. All right, in the middle left square, uh, let freedom ring. Uh, it's Bill Cosby the and OJ. Fourth of July, everybody celebrate freedom. Freedom. It's good to good out to my friend OJ and I are two free Negroes out for June. It is time for Juneteenth Bill Cosby style. We are You're free at last. No, we're not. Yesterday was my special personal Juneteenth. This is a great day to go out and the pudding pops and the pills and the red, white, and bang tour that we're going to go on this weekend. <laughs> oh, Twitter world. Man, this crazy mother effer is going to go out and knock some ladies out. <laughs> He's going to put them to sleep and I'm going to end their lives. It's an OJ and Bill tour. You should be on board. This is- this will be one of the greatest weekends of our lives. I think I'm just saying. <laughs> this guy knocks these bitches cold. <laughs> he is the most. I'm, he doesn't I, even have to I, take their head off. I, I, no, I didn't know this was an option. I thought you had to quiet them in other ways. I don't know. I'm not going to just drug Nicole out and put her back in the house, put her in the bathtub, and look like an accident. <laughs> I got graphic, and all you have to do is put something in the drink. See, OJ, I've been doing that since you've been killing, and it was even before so. And I did it with the ladies, and now I'm free, and I'm blind, so I'm a blind man stick. I don't know where that's going to end up, but be careful. <laughs> and I always remember to keep some hand over the top of your cup, because otherwise I'm going to put you to sleep. I'm the Wizard of Kyle. <laughs> the Wizard of it's, Kyle. it's time for our tour, OJ. What are we going to call it? <laughs> I've been thinking about names. How about the old Slice and Sleep tour for the weekend? <laughs> Let's get it done. <laughs> I like that. Two hard N words running around knocking bitches cold. That's all we got to worry about. We can get away with anything. We're murderers and rapists, and we're out in the town, and we're celebrities, and you pay us to talk about your product, and I did That's all good for me. Hello, Jello. <laughs> all right, in the middle square, uh, it's Yankee Doodle Dandy Brady. That's right. I'm a Yankee Doodle Brady. My mom used to say to me all the time stop doing the Yankee Doodle. All over the towels. And I had to get my own batch of it turned towels. Turned into macaroni. That's right. Oh, never no, turns into macaroni, but I did. Oh. Actually, I did put it in my hat once, <laughs> which was weird. I go back to uh, my hometown of Upper Arlington, Ohio. Oh, H! I know! And we uh, have a parade every year, and I dress up in a, in a racist costume and appropriate a culture and put a funny sign on the, on the car that I'm riding in. 
much to the appeasement of everyone, until a few years ago when I did what that kid did and I became a Korean for a day and everybody got mad at me because I was Jong Il <laughs> riding around in the back of a Cadillac and uh, I was canceled. I'm the only member of the show to actually be canceled from something, which is fantastic. <laughs> really, because now let's name them off, other me. I was uh, transvestite. I was a black. I was a Korean. <laughs> year after year in the parades, I was something more and more offensive. There's pictures Eskimo. on the internet. Yeah, I was an Eskimo once. That's right. <laughs> I'm a Yankee Doodle Snowman. <laughs> Slanty eyes and big fat hats. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. It's all white. Anyway, we get away with it. All white. <laughs> <laughs> we just found our first location built for the old license leak. I'm just saying. All right, in the middle right square, uh, he's pretty uh, pretty excited pretty, to be here. It's Larry pretty, David. Pretty racist square so far. Pretty racist. I'm not, look, I'm, I, I would go on the boat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I would have pissed them off. That's a scary square over there. They got a scary square. Very scary square. Not interested in it. But uh, pretty... Pretty, pretty scary square. Maybe, maybe have him in one of the episodes of Curb. He can do whatever he wants. Come over to my square, fine, whatever. I don't have to have him on. It's not necessarily going to come on to my show. Uh, he, he, uh, he was acquitted. He had a free. That's a deal. <laughs> We're talking Larry David on the <laughs> <laughs> do our show. It's the good stuff. All right, in the bottom middle square, it's Brady's secret square. Give us some hints, Brady. I... I can't see anything, and uh, we're out of Oval Team. Oh, where am I? Is not what the hell did Oval Team? Not, not how we rehearsed it. Do this it isn't again. A Christmas story. Ralphie do it from a Christmas story. <laughs> what? what? Oval Team. What? Yeah, there's. Commercials Just do it again. I will. There was a combat. Oh, I'm trying to fly. Circumnavigate. No. Oh, no. no. Do it again. I? Remember the. Yes. Thank I you. I can't see. Thank you. The lines go. Yeah. Never mind. Brett's doing it. Yeah. And then there was the other line that was great. Uh, oh, 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 I don't recognize anything. It's not Mickey Mouse. It sounds a little bad. <laughs> you don't know what I don't recognize saying. anything. Uh, let's be lost at sea. SOS. Let's be lost at Out of Ovaltine. <laughs> We're in an Ovaltine. According to Google, no relation. <laughs> hey, Google, no relation. Ovaltine. Amelia Earhart. Zero results. We went over that. I just remember that was a big commercial in the 30s. You do? Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. And, then, and those black and You're white You're older than I thought. When <laughs> Is this the first time we had to do retakes to during the squares? Yeah. I didn't know we were going to have so, to. so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he needs a we're vacation out bad. of oval team. He needs That's a reset. <laughs> she dumped it in the lake. <laughs> yeah, because she's more worried about oval team. Yeah, she needs a drink of chocolate <laughs> soda. more oval. <laughs> Worst That's thing. Stupid. That's what you're worried about. My life. out of oval team. Earliest oval team commercial I can find is 1950. So 16 Darn. years later, he Mickey, remembers, Mickey though. Mantle. He, he remembers. remembers. It was a big thing. Maybe like, it was before. Maybe that commercial that's was That's what before. she was doing. She was delivering Ovaltine to Africa. Ah, that's why it took 16 <laughs> years to get back. That's why the plane went down. It was too much powder. Yeah. Way too much powder. <laughs> I got to yeah. unload the Ovaltine. <laughs> I, I don't know where I am. Lesbian lost at sea. I don't recognize any of this. Splash. Those were the only <laughs> lines. Okay, do it again. All right. Again? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't Take know where four. I am. I'm a lesbian lost at sea. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. Now it sounds like a 1920s <laughs> radio announcer. Yeah. Yeah. Like All right, see? Yeah. All right, see? Uh, let's hit for boys in blue, eh? Hey? All right, what's going on with this aircraft, I wonder? My vagina's tingling. Let's be lost at sea. My puss. <laughs> there it is. There, there it is. You go. You're finally <laughs> He's like Kyle Schwarber. <laughs> Just takes a little bit and he starts knocking him out. One for seven, but that one is majestic. Well done. All right, sorry. All right. Man. In the bottom middle square, uh, it's Gary Busey. I don't know what just happened there. I think she's still alive. She's on the hunt for Ovaltine, they say. That's a beautiful thing. You love that stuff, didn't you, I Gary? I love Ovaltine. You know what? I like Ovaltine in the form of a salt lick. <laughs> you can freeze it. Oh, cube. my God. Chocolate with a, some sea salt in it. I'll lick that for hours. Brady, you want to ride me around? Yeah. I think you should get on my back and we should go for a, a pony ride. I'm getting Let's shooed today. Somebody's going to shoot me later today, and I'm just going to hand-fed a bunch of carrots. <laughs> Eric, you look good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> just go with it. Eric looks healthy. Yeah. 
He's got full of hair What now. is going on? Look at his face. is all tan. He's olive. <laughs> <laughs> That's great stuff, Eric. Whatever regimen you're on, stay on it. Through his hair. I know you look fantastic. <laughs> when did uh, Eric get all the surgery? <laughs> Very impressive. And he's tall. He's like a full-grown man. He's just a boy. Whatever it was, looking good on you, kid. Keep it up. All right, in the bottom right square, it's the boss man himself, Tribbery. Yeah, time for a little five-day, three-day weekend. Let's go, let's go. You know what the best thing about you guys being on vacation is? Jeremy won't host the squares next week. <laughs> Hi, John. You're right. It's a classic version without Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Ha! Oh! So I'm going to take the week off next week so I don't have to look at how sad Larry is when he sees that his morning show's missing. <laughs> and the whole thing hinges on him and Fitz. Egads! <laughs> anyway. Good luck to you on your vacation. Toledo, I hope you roll your car. Congratulations, <laughs> Trip. Trip. And uh, everybody else still. Just, you know what, Holmberg, stay healthy. That's all I care. Are you I taking got... a mini Winnie out, Trip? Never ever in my life as a successful man have I been within 100 yards of a mini Winnie. Come on, with the Jeep <laughs> no. and the Porsche and the Mercedes. No. <laughs> I've never tugged a mini Winnie. Unless that's what? a nickname of my dick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hi, John. <laughs> Who's on the line? All right, we got uh, Tiffany and James. All right, Tiffany and James, uh, let's do this. Tiffany, you're a girl. Go first. Um, I will take the bottom left square. Please. This is the secret square. Would you like another clue? <laughs> God, do you need one? Here we go. Oh, boy, I'm lost. I can't. What, what, what's going on here? The gauges. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> My puss. Yeah, many, my puss. You nailed it with a laugh. My puss. <laughs> my puss. Um, Amelia Earhart. That's exactly That's right. How did she do that? <laughs> the most famous female aviator ever. Crashed. <laughs> Love the Rebel team. You know who the second most famous uh, aer- aeronautical woman is? There isn't one. It's uh, Krista McCullough. <laughs> Um, it's true. Oh, Name oh, another one. She's not an aviator. She was an air, air, air lady. An air lady. <laughs> famous air. Oh, yeah, because yeah. she never technically made it to space. That's huh? right. Well, she was bumping nope. it. She bumped into it. It, it fought back. <laughs> no. All right, sorry. X gets the square. Go ahead. What's the guy's name? All right, James, James. pick the square. Uh, let's do uh, Trip Reeb. Yeah. Let's go with Trip Reeb. Great idea. Where are you going on your trip, James? Uh, I am not. I'm staying home. I'm staying home. Times are tight, huh? Yep. Yeah, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> Loose as they've ever been. I made a fortune last year, fleecing these idiots out of 14% of their pay. Guess who got that windfall? The, uh, TFR. Delta Valley, Loose. What? Not listening. You're too poor to listen to. TFR. Trip. <laughs> Reeb. And guess what I'm going to find this weekend? That dead lesbian. <laughs> yeah. And her oval team. And her piles of missing oval team. <laughs> what did what did the world of nineteen thirty four miss more? The dead lesbian or the thousands of pounds of oval team that she lost? The great oval team crisis. It makes sense that she was delivering meals. <laughs> All right, sorry. What's my question? Hi right, John. True or false trip. Madonna's first album was released in nineteen eighty four. First album featured borderline was a huge smash. Can you give us a little? Yeah. On the borderline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Um, and <laughs> she performed it on the bandstand, which, by the way, I was the executive producer. You in D.C.? Yeah. I was the leader of Dick Clark Dick. Productions. Hi, John. And <laughs> I remember because Dick and I, Eiffel Towered Madonna after. Oh, yeah, 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 I got that in my bag. And then they painted my face on the wall at the Palm. So Because of that? It's false. It came out in 83 or 82. All right, he says false. Do you agree or disagree? I will disagree. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. It was false. 1983, X gets the square. So, uh, oh, Tiffany, boy. you could take Gary Busey for the win. The clean sweep. Um, we will do that. That's a good move there, strategically. Most women like Amelia Earhart had no strategy. 
<laughs> Do you consider her one of your heroes, lady on the phone? Uh, sure. Phone. Yeah. What other women do you? <laughs> what other women the do you consider? Well, lady on the phone. What other women do you consider heroes? <laughs> let me let me in here. <laughs> a little Twitter lady on the phone. I would like to say I consider one lady a hero in my life uh, uh, because uh, she's no longer mouthy. <laughs> and I find that very heroic. I find every woman that dies heroic. And time for Bill and OJ's sip and clip tour. <laughs> Take a sip and get a clip from Bill and OJ. Oh, Tiffany, uh, Bill bought you a drink. And I don't think, to be honest with you, America and black people aren't going to like this one too much, but I'm going to say it. You say what you feel, OJ. We can't get in trouble for anything. All right, we're Teflon. I'm going to say this. <laughs> Uh, black people, you can't complain anymore that the justice system is uh, <laughs> pretty simple, fair. It's fair. Let's just say that that's a fair thing. I believe it to be fair, too, and I'm going to sue and make money off of it. Time for a big tour of the Spanish fly and die with O.J. and Bill. <laughs> O.J., don't drink that drink. That one's not for you. How did this happen? She picked me, but I did enjoy it. Anyway, I, lady on the phone, here's your quiz. <laughs> You gotta ask. I don't know the question. Okay, all right, Gary. Question: True or false? Kim Kardashian has eight siblings. Kim Kardashian has eight siblings. Full litter. By siblings, do you mean teats like a pig or a dog? Uh, No. Oh, siblings. S i b l i n g s. Siblings. Simply intimidating, blissful lingerie. Inside. Oh, don't do it. N-word. N-word. <laughs> I can't think of an N-word. <laughs> oh, Brett can't. Probably the best, the best thing to do right now is not think of the N there, Gary. I'm not dare you to say it, though. <laughs> I can get away with anything. Golly. Somalia. <laughs> Siblings. It. I'm going to say I don't know that. I'll say I think she's got less than that. Fullblings or halvesies? Got a whole load of halvesies. I'll say False. All right, he says false. Do you agree or disagree? I agree. That's right, it is true. Clean, sweet, Tiff wins. Let's get out of here. The girl wins. She's a nice lady. Hey, Amelia, did you hear that? The girl uh, finished the show the whole way and walked away with prizes. (laughs) I got to get going. S O S. Lesbian at sea. Lost. Can't find. O V A L. Drink your oval tea. Oh, she thought she was getting directions. <laughs> She's giving Ralphie the clue for the old show and Annie. Where did oval tea come yeah, from anyway? That? It's 10 o'clock. It Brady's popped. hungry. It's like, Stay Puff, it it's like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Yeah, it just popped in there. It just popped in there. It's absolutely true. It's the first thing more. I thought of. Oval tea. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Drink more oval. Well, there you go. I'm going to pile up on street corn the entire week. <laughs> That's my 4th of July celebrate America moment. Like OG Mexican street food. corn? I think so. I'm going to go on a street corn for nice. I did do a lot of driving. Can I hit the quad? No, I would never eat at the quad. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only authentic uh, just, street corn you're getting here. No, I'll find somebody's abuelita, and I'll charm her socks off, and she'll carve up some cobs for me. Other than that, Toledo, be safe. Thank you. I don't like That's this at all. That's the idea. <laughs> And just burn that thing when it comes. Burn the mini Winnie down and pay the insurance. Mine. Yeah, I know. Burn it and pay it. You can't. You. He's got an LLC. He rents it out to. With a good conscience, you can't give that back and have anybody else. Absolutely. Use it. Two teen boys and you and booger hands and poop butts and dirty silent sex and blacklight that thing. Don't blacklight it. Don't <laughs> Do blacklight it when you go in. Oh. oh he, don't doesn't want to know. Know. he doesn't yeah. want to know. Yeah. Does feces show up on blacklight? No, mine hasn't. <laughs> Not yet? No? Yeah. <laughs> Do that today, Brady. That's off the top of your head, but Amelia Yeah, Amelia yeah. <laughs> I've been trying for years. <laughs> Strangest Amelia. Like, so many angles to go outside of her special love of chocolate beverages. Only when I eat scorpions. <laughs> so weird. Uh, that's it. We're done. We're taking next week off. You guys have a great 4th of July. Uh, enjoy yourselves. I'll be on the couch avoiding alarm clocks. I'll still be out next Thursday oh, for Operation right. Hydration, though. So that's tune right. in next Wednesday to find out where I'm going to be at. Yeah, Jeremy's going to have his location next week, and the best of will keep you up to date on all that stuff. We're all done. Have a great one. Enjoy the 4th of July, and we'll start the second half of this year when we return. Be careful and be nice to Larry. So long. 
Sports. The best the world has to offer in music, drama, and comedy. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.